Welcome everyone. This is Adventure Girl and this is another episode of Whining by the Campfire. How you doing? Today we're going to explore a particular kind of wine. It is by uh, Bonnie Doon Vineyards in California. He's a very exciting winemaker and if you are a wine novice I'll tell you a little bit about him. I don't know all that much but we won't get too deep into it uh, and it's a rosé that we're going to enjoy today so sit back get your favorite camp cup have a sip by the fire oh that's a nice crack on fire Randall Graham is the winemaker at uh, Bunny Dune Vineyards and uh, one of the things that he's famous for is declaring all of the ingredients that are in the bottles um, you won't find too many labels that will go at all beyond the percentage of grapes that may be contained therein. But just take a look at this label, this back label. So this is a wine blend that is uh, part of their signature line, um, La Cigare Volant, and this is a uh, Vin Degree. So uh, that's an indication that it is not a full-on red wine and it is, um, a rosé by description. So this one is 57% Grenache, 18% Grenache Blanc, 9% Movedra, 6% Roussan, and 5% Carignan. Oh, and with an extra 5% there of the Cinso. Not extra, it's to 100%. But in addition to that, he lets you know that there's tartaric acid, enzyme and sulfur dioxide, which most American wines will have naturally in the winemaking process. So many people think that they're allergic to the sulfur in, in wines, but may not be the case. Uh, in the winemaking process, he says, the following were utilized. Yeast, yeast nutrients, and bentonite. Now, bentonite is a fining agent, and that helps the spent yeast and impurities, uh, they, they're drawn to the bentonite and then the bentonite is removed and with it, the impurities. So he's a very um, forthright winemaker. He's not trying to hide anything at all about what's inside the bottle. So give you a little shot of the front label so you can take a look at this. This is a very good wine. I've enjoyed this many times over the years. This is the uh, 2017 vintage. And you see that, I haven't opened the bottle yet. It's not quite a rosé like you may be accustomed to seeing. It's a little paler, a little bit more salmon. I know it's hard to really tell that with the trees and such in the background, but I'm about to open the bottle and you'll, you'll get to see it better. like the fire body <laughs> all right so so far I've told you about the honest winemaker who declares everything on the back of the label you don't get too many of those so you give them a little credibility and and points for that now, let me explain a little bit about why there's an alien on the cap, which is a screw cap, by the way, so that's quite handy for uh, camping. I'm gonna read you this description on the back label. So, sometimes the story sells the wine. Maybe it will for you this time. So, Vin Degree de Segare is the pink analog of the Le Segare Volant a flagship named in honor of the cigar-shaped alien craft banned from landing in the vineyards of the Chateauneuf de Pop by decree of the village council in 1954. Utilizing prominent southern French cepage vin degree is a wine made from the lightest pressing of a noir, which is, as I said, why it was um, vin degree noir or uh, a red version of the grapes. So he continues to say, we farm using sustainable practices 
with the belief that this discipline is well suited to restoring vital life forces to our soil and promoting the farm as a more integral entity. Our winemaking practice is exceptionally light-handed with minimal intervention and manipulation, unplugged or acoustic style. Equally, we are committed to greater transparency. To this end, we append a list of ingredients used in the production of this wine. And to learn more, you can visit their website at bonniedoonvineyard.com. So, on the label, you'll see the spaceship in the upper corner there, spying uh, some of the villagers in the Chateauneuf de Pop region, one would assume, but they're banned. 1954, they were banned. So you won't see any spaceships landing in that part of France. Pink wine of the earth. I love his sense of humor. I love his transparency. The wine is great too. So you might want to check it out. So just a little bit more about the grapes in the bottle. The uh, grapes I mentioned earlier are the grapes that are acceptable to grow in the Chateauneuf de Pop region in France. Now I'm not a great expert on the separation of the different regions of France, but I can tell the difference between say a Chateauneuf de Pop and a Bordeaux or a Burgundy. And if you're not that familiar with those grapes, there's a lot of information. It's, it's almost overwhelming, but um, all of the grapes that are in the back of this label are acceptable in the Chateauneuf de Pop region. It's a fun place to say, Chateauneuf de Pop. Also not very good with a French accent, so you'll have to excuse me on that. But it is a very nice wine. It is very reasonably priced. And if you bring it to someone's house as a host gift, a hostess gift, someone would be impressed that they think you know a lot about wine. I hope you go and check it out. Enjoy. You know, and it will go great with almost any kind of food that you're willing to put on a barbecue grill. Very good summer wine. If you want something a tiny bit more sophisticated than, you know, the box wines and the mass produced wines. This is a great wine to introduce yourself to like a next level, but without the price tag. <laughs>